So today I'm going to talk about local localization in Backstage. Um, I just have a few minutes, so this is uh, going to be a quick agenda. Um, uh, we'll start with what is localization and what problems we are going to solve, uh, how to enable it in Backstage, and how to also update your plugins uh, uh, to enable it. And if we have time, uh, just a quick recap with the benefits. So what is localization? Um, it's a process of adapting a product or a service to a local uh, market or a specific language and country. Um, so basically what that means is how you can display um, like currency, numbers, dates, uh, like in the right format for, uh, uh, for where you live. Um, also to adjust the design elements, for example, uh, the, to write the text from left to right or right to left, and also to translate uh, all the text uh, on, the, on, the, on the, the UI. So that could be just labels, buttons, etc. So this is a quick example of um, what that will look like uh, before localization that would be on the left side. So for example, the date, you can see that would be just a universal time. So this is very developer friendly, uh, not necessarily user friendly. Uh, people will not know really how to read that. And if you use localization, you will see on the right side, um, for example, the day, the month, the year, and the, the proper uh, time format. So another example will be uh, talking about currency. Uh, if you are working in like financial services, that could be something pretty critical. So uh, on the left side, you see it's showing just like dollars and uh, uh, with commas to, uh, to, uh, to separate the thousands. And then on the right side, you could show something more local, for example, here in, uh, in Paris, um, showing uh, euros. So how to do that? Um, that's actually very easy. In Backstage, um, it's using Material UI, so you could enable the, uh, uh, this with a theme provider, which you probably already do, and um, that would be to, to change the colors, the palette, etc. So from there, you could also add any locals. So in that example, I'm adding the, the French local. Uh, so I have an import, and I just add it to the theme. Um, and then uh, that's it. So if you want to have uh, your plugins updated, which I highly recommend, uh, this is an example using Material UI and DJS. Uh, you can just wrap your, uh, your component that will show the date with a specific local and that will um, just show in, uh, in the correct format. Uh, so this is not limited to the DJS. You have many other libraries. Uh, you can use the one that, uh, uh, that you use in your enterprise, uh, but that's basically the same. That would be just add a wrapper uh, around uh, your uh, UI components. For the translation, uh, that would be something very similar. Uh, in this case, I'm not using the localization provider for Material UI, which you can do, but I wanted to show an another example. So I'm using an, uh, another library called React Localization. And on the left side, you can see that I'm defining um, a label for the date uh, in English, one in French. And then if I use it from my component on the right side, you can see that I just uh, specify the name of the label. And then that's going to automatically select the proper language. And um, yeah, so the benefits is just uh, that will improve the user experience. Um, you will have better engagement. People will use more. Uh, uh, you, you will use your plugin more frequently. Um, if you are a company uh, comp uh, providing a plugin, we mentioned a few companies earlier uh, having their own uh, plugins that will definitely help uh, with the brand and uh, increase the, uh, the, the 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 usage. And uh, if you are working in. Uh, 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 in a specific industry where you have uh, compliance and uh, it's heavily regulated, uh, then that will also help the, the usage. And thank you.